my first impression of this subtropical island was slightly surreal. It was not your normal desert island paradise. There was a beach bar. There were idyllic beaches. But monsters were lurking. The fish market down at the port at first glance looked normal. But some of the customers queuing up were anything but normal. Things got stranger down on the beach. This remarkable animal, found only on these islands, is utterly unique. It is a marine iguana, and it lives on the Galapagos Islands. Probably over a hundred thousand of these miniature dragons spread throughout the Galapagos and they live on a diet of algae and seaweed. Colonies of young marine iguanas live at the water's edge, their black bodies perfectly camouflaged among the black lava rocks. Being ectothermic animals, they are cold-blooded and regulate their body heat through their surroundings. They can only spend a limited amount of time in cold seawater before returning to bask on the rocks to recover their warmth, their black bodies absorbing the maximum amount of heat radiation from the sun. Like their less exotic cousins, the larva lizard, they can change body colour to regulate body temperature and to change their camouflage. This specimen has a perfect camouflage for the vegetation on the beach. Here there is a large colony of young marine iguanas next to a shallow channel in the lava rock. In the water below reef sharks are loitering, either hovering in the current or swimming up and down. You might think that they are waiting for an iguana to lose its grip and fall into the water below to be devoured by the waiting sharks. You would be wrong. Marine iguanas have few natural predators other than the Galapagos hawk and the sharks are in the channel because they are couch potatoes. Sharks must move to stay alive. They need a constant current of water through their gills to breathe. The channel has a steady current which means that lazy sharks only have to lounge on the seabed while the life-giving current washes through their gills. They have absolutely no interest in devouring any scraggy adolescent marine iguana clumsy enough to fall off its perch above. Although the marine iguana has few natural predators, that doesn't mean that a Sally Lightfoot crab will pass up the opportunity to scavenge on a dead iguana that happens to get in its way. Nature is very efficient in tidying up dead meat. Marine iguanas have few social skills. No silky dancing moves. If they get into a confrontation, they just shake their heads vigorously. After a serious head-banging session, one of the contestants will submit and skulk away. Another common misconception is their habit of spitting. This is not a defence mechanism or a sign of aggression, but simply the way that marine iguanas have developed to excrete excess salt from their bodies. The combination of their saline diet and seashore habitat means that these reptiles need to get rid of excess salt and the quickest way to do it is to spit it out. This guy 
is taking a stroll along the beach, but he is not here for the sand and sunshine. This is where he evolved.